This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Mr. versus Mr. You are married. You have four kids together. And you have brought your spouse here today because you believe that he is cheating. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mrs. Mister, there have to be some warning signs why you believe that Mr. Mister is cheating. Tell me about those. Yes, Your Honor. We're not having sex anymore. We're not spending any time with each other. I'll go through his phone. There'll be all kinds of phone numbers in there that aren't saved as contacts. So when I call up the phone number, there's another female on the phone. And when I ask her how she knows my Sorry. husband... That, I, is, that I, is not I, true. Hey, hold on, hold on. We're gonna get to you. I promise. So when I call this female up, then she gonna tell me that I need to talk to my husband about how the two of them know each other. But, of course, he already lying to me about what's going on, so I'm not getting any answers from him. And then he gonna turn around and put passcodes on his phone so I can't even check it anymore. So that's why I'm here today, because I'm ready to know the truth. And if he's doing what I think he's doing, he's gotta go. All right, Mr. Mister, so what Mr. you Mr. got to say? That is not true at all, Yana. We have sex five times a week. Matter of yeah, fact... Yeah, okay. We not had, with me? We, we not had with me? sex today. Not with me? Actually, this morning. So, as far as, oh, as the test message... this morning. As far as, as the test message, when we was in Georgia around two years ago, my friends used to use my phone. So, she knew about that Okay, time. so your friends know your passcode, but I can't know your passcode? Of course, the passcode, we have kids, Your Honor. And she have a password herself that she don't give out. Yeah, that I never put on there until you put yours on no. there. So what business you it's got going through my phone if I can't see time, nothing you got Your going Honor, on? We done that at the same time. All right. Yo. Mrs. Mister, do you have any specific incidents you can share with me? Um, there was one time Jamal did not come home at night. He came home at like 8, 9 o'clock in the morning and went straight to sleep. So something wore him out. Gambling. I went through Gambling. his phone. Gambling. And in his internet history, there was an ad where he had been speaking to a female about meeting up with her to have sex. So that's, when I talk to him false. about it, when I talk to him about it, he gonna sit there and look at me like I didn't that see what I just saw. No. Like I'm crazy no. or something. But I believe that they did have sex. Yana, half of the time when I'm out, I'm in the backyard and I'm gambling with my boys. You are not in the backyard. I don't really go you know we have windows, right? You know Monday I can look Friday, outside to see if you're I'm, there. I work Monday through Friday, Yana. I don't got time to go out and chase no female. This is my woman. This is my wife. Yeah, I love okay. this woman. Mr. Mister, that's not the part she's mad about. She's what mad she's about... What she's mad about the... is the disappearing dice man. That's what she's mad about. <laughs> well, that and somebody texted her husband saying, I want to have sex with you. That's what she's mad about. They said husband. They didn't say a name. That's what I'm... That's what you're I'm, going with? No, 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 that's not married. what I'm going with. All right, I'm trying so, to... I'm, so... I'm telling her who they... talk. I'm asking her who they talking about because she know that my friends use my phone. That's all I'm saying, Your Honor. Mrs. Mister, you've talked about the disappearing act. Have you ever caught him actually with another woman? That's uh, what I'm saying. Yes. Oh, I'm Katie. Listening. Katie was with me for that particular event. And her and I were hanging out at the house. He walked out the door talking about, I'll be right back. So we sitting there chit-chatting. Hours go by. We ain't seen him, heard from him, nothing. We decided to get in the car. We drive around a little while, pull up at this bar that we think he might be at, and sure enough, there he is, surrounded by a bunch of females, flirting, no. touching was, on him. So I no, get out the car, that's, that's a lot. I get out on, the Mr. car, Mr. and Hold tell up. this man to come on out, it's time to go, and he don't want to listen. Why are you in a bar surrounded by all these women if you're married? I, it was me, my friend, and it was the other couple. It was a he male wouldn't even buy and a you. female. He wouldn't Not, even buy she you. Didn't even know when she that, said, that come woman, on, he came on, and you didn't want to go nowhere. That woman husband. We just... We was it wasn't even a whole one husband, woman. They were like, there were eight different husband, women. She had a whole husband, Yana. So you're saying there wasn't a bunch of women. It was just one woman who was with her whole husband. There were like seven, eight women, and they all he, he, ha, ha, in each other's face. It was seven, eight women, but they was in the back. Hey, we don't got none of They you. was in we a was, circle in around front. you. Sir, sir, we was in the front. All right, Mr. And, Hold and on. clearly, if I was on some type of sneaky stuff, I would probably be in the back. Why would I be out in the front in the opening? Because right, you Mr. didn't know Mr. I was going to pull up. That's why, because you got caught slipping. You live five minutes away from Yeah, me. but you didn't know that I was going to pull up on you. Remember, it wasn't planned. But you knew where right. I was... Hold on, hold on. But you just, said, have... you just said you knew where I was at. Mr. I didn't know where you were at. Okay. Woo! Mr. Mister, Mrs. Mister, there's a witness here. Would you please come to the podium? Yes, Your Honor. All right, would you please state your name for the court? Katie Ingram. Were you around for this particular incident? I was. What did you see? Um, so we pull up. 
And at first, uh, there was a whole bunch of people. We look and we see Mr. Mr. chatting to a bunch of females. There was no other male involved. It was females it was. standing at the table, coinciding with the, the edge that he was standing at, leaning on the fence. Oh, and uh, like once he wouldn't come and she got tired of it, she just walked home. Miss Ingram, do you believe that Mr. Mr. is cheating? I do. All right, Miss Ingram, you can have a seat again. You are married with four little children. Why aren't you at home with them instead of out at a bar? Mm -hmm. I... Well, I don't understand. I work Monday through Friday. I pay all the bills. And we have a house, a car. I take care of my kids. I'm not understanding why I can't have a day to myself. Oh, okay, but here's the thing. When yes, you become a husband and a parent, you have to put childish things away. The problem is not him being at a bar. The problem is him being at a bar with other women. The problem That's... is him getting text messages from other women saying, you know, I want to sleep with you. That's what the problem is. Miss Mister, do you have any specific women that you believe he's cheated with? Yes, actually, a friend of mine and I got together. We were having a few drinks, chit-chatting, catching up, and she decided to tell me that her and my man had been sleeping together. <gasps> no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I I've had a lot of conversations with my girlfriends. Know. I don't know how you make the left turn to say, oh, by the way... Out of nowhere. I like that shirt. <laughs> and we're, I'm sleeping with your she, husband. She's got her own boyfriend issues. Yeah. I'm talking about my issues with him. You know, we're just hashing it out, you know. She's showing me text messages in her phone where they sexting back and forth about what had been going on. So I, I know that well, they would have a thing. Oh, okay. I didn't Go ahead. Sense to me. Why, why are you sleeping with your wife's I don't friend? understand why she ain't... It was true. Why she ain't screenshot it? I mean... Mr. Mr. He ain't giving me the screenshot. But really? Because it's, 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 it's sorry. Because it's sorry. I'm just. It's, it kind of ticks me off because she would actually believe something like that. Why would I? I but look at your people, record. Look at record, everything else I gotta deal with. Why would I not believe that? You bring it up false. You, you bring it up false. That's all you're doing. You're Mr. Mister, proving nothing. I haven't never cheated on you. Mr. Mister. Yes, sir. Why are you sleeping with your wife's friend? I'm not sleeping with my wife's friend. I barely know her friend as that. I don't even hang out with her friends. So you're denying this? Yes, sir, I am. I mean, the only reason why she's probably saying I slept with her because she see us that we young and we married. And she ain't never saw nothing like that and everybody look at this generation so as a man that's our age that's cheating. That's the only reason why she doing that. She's trying to play her to get so you to your think, man. So you think she's doing this to break you up? Yes, of course. And, and she should know that. Okay, so here's my question. Here's my question. What's your question? And you raise an interesting point. You're saying you all are getting together to talk about the problems you're having in your relationship. And he mm -hmm. says he thinks she said this to you to break up your friendship. Mm -hmm. of course. Is that a she, possibility? She never showed me the text message. It could be. She never showed Mr. me Mr. the text message. Mr. Mister, please could be, be quiet when we're asking her questions. Yes, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know. She's going through with her man, too. So I don't know. Maybe she's got eyes for him. She, she doesn't act like that, though. I mean, she... Her and I are pretty tight, you know? She looks at him like a brother-sister type relationship, or at least... Did, I, I suppose, until... Have you seen them together since <clears throat> you had this uh, conversation with her? Like, have you all been together in a room or at a bar? Yeah, we were all living together at one point in time. So, so all three of you all were living I, together? How many days? At least not even a week. Up next... Did you uncover anything interesting? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> all his text messages in the phone was deleted. So that tells me automatically he got some dirt on this phone. What's that right there? That's what we're doing right now? I don't know right what now? that is That's right what we're doing right now? I don't know what you that petty. is right there. You too petty. He came home at like 8, 9 o'clock in the morning and went straight to sleep, so something warm out. Be honest, half the time when I'm out, I'm in the backyard and I'm gambling with my boys. My problem is, it's just too messy. It is that, messy. That's about Ooh. the best way I can describe it's it. It's messy. too messy. And it, because if... Her best friend is saying that there's something going on with between you and the best friend. There's enough there for her to believe it. Because if one of her friends sent her a text, said, hey, I'm messing with your husband, she's like... What is She's going to immediately discount that because it doesn't make any sense. Your wife, she's not immediately discounting what these texts in because she believes it can be true. Right. And the reason she believes it can be true is because of your history. You're staying out late at night. You're being seen at a bar with all these other women around. Uh, you're getting these text messages from people saying they want to have sex with you. All this stuff is adding up. 
Right, mm-hmm. that's that's understandable. You you right. So I mean, you see how I really it looks from my perspective. Him. It don't, it don't, I do love him. It, I want him to be right. able to right. it don't look prove right. me wrong, right. okay. really. But, but out of all from, people, from what he's done in the past, I'm just I just I can't out take his word for it. Okay, you friend. all are both this, talking at the same time. And that's exactly what's wrong with this relationship. You all do not talk you to each other. You, you don't talk to each other. Y'all are talking at us. Y'all are talking at each other. And not hearing anything the other one's saying. Now, where we are at this point is you believe he's cheating. Yes, Your Honor. And if he is cheating, you're done. I'm done. Mr. Mister, you say you're not cheating, and you're here to prove your innocence. Yes, sir. The court has done a full investigation of Mr. Mister's social media history and his cell phone, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Gregory Evans into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Evans, what did you do to investigate this case? I went through his phone and not just looking at what's on his phone, but what was also deleted from his phone. Mm. Things he just doesn't want the rest of the world to see. Did you uncover anything interesting? Oh, yes, I did. (laughs) It appears, though, that the defendant, he was really trying to, like my grandfather would say, pull the wool over my eyes because all his text messages in the phone was deleted. So that tells me automatically he got some dirt on this phone. So I continued to go through. Now remember, there was no text messages, but a text message pops up. And this is what the text message said. Hmm. 4.50 p.m., hey, boo. Now I knew it wasn't his wife. Who's your boo? Who's your boo? Who's your boo? boo. You got a boo right there. (laughs) Boo got a text saying, hey, boo. I don't know nothing about that. I don't. Well, who would in the universe besides your, your they bride... They trying to set me up. That's probably what it is. They hacked your account, and all they did was write, hey, boo. They didn't ask for any kind of financial right. information. They didn't ask That's anything weird. else. They it hacked is. your account and just wrote, hey, boo. Probably. <laughs> Are these the same people that deleted all your text information and other information? No, I only delete... I, I ain't gonna be honest. I did delete mine, not because the cheating part. It's just other person. Well, if you ain't got business. nothing to be guilty of, what is there to delete? So you admit deleting, but you saying... It's, it's not about the cheating part. No, nah, <sighs> I don't know, boo. Well, that boo knows so, you. So, Mr. Evans, were you able to recover any kind of photos or videos? Of course I could. Okay, and what did you find? of course I did. Okay. Mm. So, while going through his deleted images, I was able to find a photo that was sent to him about a month ago. And I recovered it and in his received folder. So someone sent this to him. Okay. And it was a picture of a woman's bottom back part. So, so that's her butt. What, so that's what we're doing now? What's that right there? That's what we're doing know right what now? That is that's right what we're doing right now? I don't know what you that petty. is right there. You too petty. I don't know what that Mm-mm. is right there. Mm-mm. Yeah, you know what that is. You don't know who's writing you to say, hey, boo. You don't know who sent you these pictures. That's Come on, big. Mr. Mister. That's too big right there. I mean, no disrespect, but nah. You got females sending you pictures of their butt, for real? Nah, I don't get down like that. Yeah, well, apparently your that's phone exactly does. how you get down. Check my phone right now. Ain't, ain't nobody been... He checking. already just checked your phone. There it is. Hey, no. How you gonna tell somebody to check your phone you right now? Phone. It's right there. Oh. I don't know what I'm like that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Mr. Evans, when was this photo received? This was about a month ago, and yeah, month it was ago. actually texted to him. That's weird. And because it was texted... <laughs> and because it was texted, he tried to delete it before turning over his phone. Yes, I a received this as a deleted. I got it. So he had deleted a lot of information on his phone before turning it over to the court. Folks gonna learn one day, right? Oh, they gonna learn today. <laughs> <laughs> To further investigate, the court has ordered a polygraph examination, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Williams into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Williams, would you state your credentials for the court, please? Uh, I've been a polygraph examiner for 25 years. I have over 700 polygraphs to my to my credit. All right. Mr. Mister was asked, since you've been married to your wife, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife? 
What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? Your Honor, there were several significant physiological indicators to this question, which indicated to me deception. I got you. Mr. Mister, who have you had sexual intercourse with since you've been married? Um... He don't even know. Look at him. It's not... I don't even know. I don't want to speak on it. Mr. Mister was asked the second question. Mm -hmm. Did you have sexual intercourse with your wife's friend? What was his response? Your Honor, he said no. What did the lie detector determine? Uh, Your Honor, on this question, Jamal's responses were significant, which indicated to me deception. Ms. Mister, you came here for answers. You got, got the it. answers that you were looking for. Well, I don't think well, she's looking for this, but she's gotten the truth. You've See, gotten the truth. It's not what I wanted, but it's the truth, and I only got one thing to say, and that's bye. You all have known each other for a long time. You're married. This is a second marriage for both of you. Not only that, this is your second marriage to each other. <laughs> and if that wasn't complicated enough, <laughs> we have a celebrity marriage because, Ms. Bryant, we know you as Mama D. But this marriage is in trouble. Am I right, Mr. Bryant? Yes, sir. Right. You've initiated this case. Tell us why. Sir, uh, let, don't get me wrong. I love my wife. But my relationship with my wife, my marriage relationship is just... It's very toxic. I don't... I, I feel that I don't get enough respect in the household. Mm. Uh, just this year alone, I've been... I've been put out three times. Wow. I, I want to... I want to make it work because I really love my wife. Oh. It's not working. It's a cycle of... Down, sounds like. Right. And Mama D, I'm st sitting here watching you rolling your eyes, you shaking your head. He described it as toxic. Is that how you would describe your relationship? Yes, when it comes down. But when he says that I put him out, it's because of his verbal abuse. I won't... You, I'm not gonna be your MF and your B because you're supposed... A man supposed to respect his wife like you respect your mother and your sister. So, you know... I'm not gonna tolerate it, you know? I'm not. I will not. I don't have to put up with that. And yes, he's, he's right. I have put him out because I won't... I can't put up with that. I deserve better. I love my husband very, very much. I mean, I was fighting the street over my husband, but I'm not gonna tolerate him doing this. And, Mr. Bryant, is yes. this true? Do you call... That's, do well, you get hot oh. enough to call her out of her name? Well, I do... do. Yes, I know. I get hot. I get hot. And all this fighting, you know, I noticed from the court papers, you know, it sounds like all this fighting really comes from the three most common problems we see in relationships. Finances, mm -hmm. communication, mm -hmm. and infidelity. What's going on with the finances in your relationship? When I first met D, I mean, it was, it was good. Uh, I work, you know, I come home. I, well, actually, I was a hustler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was a hustler. I come home. I come home with the bread. I mean, we, 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 farms was available. When I say I leave, then it was like, oh, don't go, you know, and hold me by the leg and, you know, make me feel like I was wanted. I say I leave now, it's dolop, you know what I mean? Because of <laughs> her newfound fame, you know. So have things She's, changed since things, she became yeah. Mama D? Yeah, it has no. a lot. How's it changed? She more independent. She more... She don't need a man, actually. So, I, she's making... you, Mama D, you making your own money. Right. And, and I, it's bothering you. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, yeah, it it's, it's... Her Ellie. attitude is bothering me because I can't keep up with her cost... with her way of living. I'm a... I'm a blue... I'm a blue-collar <laughs> worker. I work warehouse and, you know, yeah. I work uh, delivery or su stuff of that nature. So, does but she kind of hold up... Oh. I pay majority to the bills. That's why it's a problem. And what he don't understand, when you make your money and you chasing these jobs like you just admitted, um, you want to bank his money and want me to pay my job to the bills. And I'm buying all the groceries. You know what I'm saying? But, Mama D, let me ask you this. For a man, mm -hmm. when his significant other, his wife, makes more money than he does... But he makes... Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's generally okay. 
I think where a lot of the problems come in is where the woman starts to hold it over his head. Where it's like, I'm paying the bills, I get to call the shots. Exactly. I'm paying the yeah. bills, so you do what I say. I'm paying the bills, so this is what we're doing, and we're going to do it my you, way. But is is not, that what's going on yeah, here? Yeah, but what you're not going to exactly. do, because you don't have friends, is tell me about my friends that come over. I'm working, I'm working too hard, because I go through a lot, and people don't know the flip side of fame. But Mama D, Put, okay. Take the this, pants off me. You can run the house, you can run my life, but you got to boss up. No, 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 no. Yes, okay, so wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I'm not... I, I want to be clear about this financial th thing. Mm -hmm. You're saying, look, I don't mind contributing, yeah. but what you're not doing is you're not contributing. Right. You just... Right. You, you are using all my money up right. and banking yours. Yes. And you're saying you need to step up. Yes. And if you're not going to step up, then you can't say... Then shut up. Yes. Is what I'm hearing. Yes, that's what I say. Okay, I'm... so this is, this is a little different than the usual story, Mr. Cutler. The usual story is you running the show, you got all the money, and you're emasculating me. What right. she's saying is just the opposite. I am making money, but I still need your contribution, yes. too. And you, you're yes. trying to work me to death. Yes. And then, what and then, and then, want to have, put your lips on what I'm doing when you're not doing your part. Am exactly. I right? Exactly. Thank you. That's what's going on. No, 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 no. So, no. so Mr. Brown, let me ask um, you this. Do you feel emasculated because of her fame and the money she's uh, making? Listen, I you? have nothing to say in that household. I have no say so whatsoever. And that by her saying I pay, I pay my share. I don't no, make don't. a lot you of money. So what I make in a week, she makes in like one walkthrough. And it takes me a week worth of hustling and buffling and sweating in the sun. You understand? I try. I mean, you, I'm not that person that I used to be. But you I'm a hell of a lot better than I used to be. And I come to the table with something. You understand me? And that's just let her know that I'm trying to play a part in a, in a, in a marriage yeah. that I want and I want to keep. Uh -huh. All right, so we got a big disconnect oh, right yeah. there because so, he feels yeah. he's pulling his weight and, and she, she feels says, he's, he's not. And, so, and Which leads us right to the him. second of our trifecta, communication. Mr. Bront, how would you describe the communication between you two? Now... Nail. No, it's not at all. I mean, huh? listen, I, I hardly get a chance to talk with D because it's either her way or no way. If, because I'm not bringing enough to the table for her to listen. If you can hear how she sounds. She's like, I'm trying to do... I'm doing... I'm... You know what I'm saying? Not so this us. whole, this whole communication us. piece to you comes back again to the finances because you don't bring the finances right. that she brings. Right. The communication right. is off because you feel you don't have a say. Right. Respect goes yeah. a long way. Yeah, but it's not about I think you're finances. jealous. I think he's jealous of me. I'm too. not jealous of her. I think it's, it feels it's like not about hold on, hold on. You, it's, you, it's, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not about finances. I literally jeopardize my life. You know, I'm I'm high, hypertension. And I can't be taking those sex pills. I stopped taking my medication and start taking those pills so I can satisfy her. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, you that... mean to tell me that I don't deserve enough respect that I would jeopardize my life just to please you? I got to tell you, Mr. Keller, this is this is one for the record books. Well, it, it sounds like they love each other. You listen to him, you listen to her. It sounds like they love each other. Clearly. The third part of that trifecta is you believe Mama D is cheating. Tell me why you believe Mama D is cheating. Well, I come home I what sometime I and I'm tired. And, you know, like, she have company over. I do what I and, do. you know, I've, I've witnessed I a couple of incidents where, you know, she get, she get to touchy-touchy with the men. She want to run around and play. See, my wife is a class clown. She always want to entertain, but she don't never like to be entertained. And I'd be telling all the time, look, I see you... Oh, you done already provided the place. Let them entertain you. Why you got to be the... So what is she doing with these men? Oh, she grabbing that they crouch. Oh, she love that. I have done that one time. No, you have gay. done that several times. He was gay. He was gay. No, he wasn't. You done yes, my friend. Was. I did your friend. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. All right.
But, Mr. Bryant, you said you saw it with your own eyes. My own eyes, her gr grabbed my friend crotch, and they was like, this here, go ahead on, Mama D. And I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? The now, world? You know, and you, but you have no memory of this. No. What other reasons do you believe that she's cheating? Well, I understand I'm just with men now. It's with women. Oh! I, listen, I, for one, I had to ask her. I said, man, you, I had to ask her, really ask her where she gave. What? One day I come out, this, her friend, what, what had happened was that I was asleep and she was in there drunk and the girl kept coming. She kept coming to say, Ernest, could you let us out? Ernest, I was like, what did that? So I jumped up mad and, and I go out there and this, and her, she, a girl got her arm mm. around her waist with her hand uh -uh. on her butt no, like this I, here. that's not true. I okay, that's that. true, D. The woman? That's not true. Was Mama D hugging the woman or was the woman the hugging woman Mama D? The woman was hugging my wife. She was, it was her company. She was entertaining. I was in the bed sleep. Her company came in the room, woke me up out of, out of days, out of days, and told me to come and lock the door because she was in there drunk. She so, Mr. Was Brian, I asleep? let me make sure we got Was this. I asleep? Don't... No, you You believe sleep? Mama D is cheating with men and women? And women. Oh, Mama and D. Women. Because <laughs> I wouldn't let if I if I swear to God if she if a man had a had me with his hand around me like that there she would have sworn but ask that, him I, a good that I was sleeping ask with him. Her. Ask okay. him, was I sleep? Okay, okay. Miss Bryant. Okay, Drunk sleep. So you're not denying it happened. I'm you're denying just it saying happened. I'm just you saying. don't remember it. And if it did happen, you were sleep. Sleep. Ask him, was I awake? You were dead awake, D. You no, were drunk. I was not. You were drunk, but you was awoke. No, I wasn't. Yes, you was. No, I, wasn't. I was okay. asking you, I said, well, why you ain't open the door okay. and the mouth? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Have you cheated on your husband? No. Have you cheated on your husband with men? No. Have you cheated on your husband with women? No. So that is not your thing. Baby, mm -mm. I'm strictly him. Okay. Here's the thing. Do you all want to be together? Yes. Do oh, you I love her? I love her. She's a very beautiful person. It's just that I just don't like what she what she become. I'm what I've become, it. I've grown. I've grown. I and, love her. I just don't to... like what she become. I mean, I've grown. I, it's much, much, I, much love for her success and all that stuff. But I would rather have my old. My old, the, my old the one that back. was on welfare and food stamps. But I've grown. And when life puts you on a platform, you got to move with the clouds. You got to move with it. You can't stay stuck and scared because I feel like he's fearful of success. And when, when the opportunity, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that grabber. And when I see it, ain't nothing standing between me and success but win. And I'm going to climb that mountain. I'm going to make sure I do. But I need him to climb it with me. All right, so we got three issues we're dealing with today. We've got finances, we've got communication, and infidelity. I think we need to address this infidelity issue first, and we can deal with the other two issues, and I'll talk to you about how we're going to do that. But we've got to address this infidelity issue first. You believe she's cheating, you deny that you're cheating, mm -hmm. correct? Yes, correct. This court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf to determine, is Mama D cheating? Yeah. Well, I'll please the word for that one. How are you, Mr. Wolf? I'm well, Your Honor. Thank you. Good, good. Now, Mr. Wolf, would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Yes, Your Honor. I've been in law enforcement for more than 23 years, primarily as a special victims detective. I've also been a forensic voice analyst for more than 12 years, and I've conducted hundreds and hundreds of exams. Explain, please, how forensic voice analysis works. Sure. When you speak, you have AM and FM frequencies in your voice, like on a radio. And when you tell a lie, the FM frequency goes away. Forensic voice analysis works by measuring those frequencies. I can then look at a chart and I can determine where someone's being deceptive. So, you asked Mama D a series of questions. I did, Your Honor. Let's take a look at the first question. Since remarrying in 2015, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your husband? No. Okay. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. Let's take a look at the next question you asked. 
since remarrying in 2015, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than your husband? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that she was also being truthful, Your Honor. So we have the answers to the issue of infidelity. Mr. Bryant, Mama D has been faithful. She has been faithful. There is no other man. When she said, it's you, it's you all day, that's true. Ernest, I love you. I always love you. You all... You're my life. I love you, too, from the bottom of my heart. Uh -huh. I love you more than words can explain. <laughs> you gotta go over there and hug on her. <laughs> There's nobody else but you, and you the only yeah. man she's grabbing on. Yeah, that's... <laughs> what do you want to say to your wife? I love you. I mean, I love you. I mean, I have trust issues, but I know that from now, now from hearing this here, that, you know, you haven't been doing what I suspect you're doing. And she... I told you. Thanks. But, Mama D, what do you want to say to Mr. Bryant? If you're ready to some more counseling, I'm ready to make the next step in getting back. You getting back in the house and we working on our marriage, because I can't work on our marriage if you're there in the house with other people in the family. Mama, do you make an excellent point? Counseling is important, and you do need counseling. That's why we've set it up with Dr. Jeff Gardier for you all to talk to him and go through the counseling. So that now that we've got this infidelity piece out of the way, you can work on the finances, you can work on the communication, and move forward for a stronger, happier, more loving marriage.